Well, I believe it's the Spirit of God that brings us calm and peace in the midst of storms. So I'll give you one concrete example of a human being who is at peace in a situation where, according to the world and even the scientific community, I don't think anybody would be happy and peaceable. And so, in fact, the way I would describe this is that what I'm referring to is Daniel in the lion's den. Now, my suspicion is even if you had, like, let's say, a five, six-inch uh, glass enclosure around you, but you were in a lion's den, I would say that 100 out of 100 people would show evidence of fear on some level. Maybe different levels of fear, but it's certainly not a very comfortable idea of being surrounded by lions. There wasn't any kind of glass like that. And why, why is that even worse? Well, because these are predators. You have to understand with these animals, they, they respond to the hormones given off by your body. Not even that you go, I'm afraid of you, eat me. No, your body says I'm afraid of you, then they eat. Okay. So I believe that according to the Spirit of God, this man Daniel, when he's put in that lion's den, was at perfect peace. Because they just chilled with him. And there's evidence that they actually were hungry. They just weren't hungry for a man who they couldn't see. Meaning like they just didn't perceive him as a source of food. So I'll just read this to you so you can see this as an evidence. Daniel chapter 6, verses 20 through 24. Daniel chapter 6, starting verse 20. And when he came to the den, now this is the, the king, he cried with a lamentable voice unto Daniel, and the king spake and said to Daniel, O Daniel, servant of, of the living God, is thy God whom thou serves continually able to deliver you from the lions? Then said Daniel unto the king, O king, live forever. My God has sent his angel and has shut the lions' mouths, that they have not hurt me. For as much as before him innocency was found in me, and also before thee, O king, have I done no hurt. Then was the king exceeding glad for him, and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den, and no manner of hurt was found upon him, because he believed in his God. There you go. So believing in God can keep you at a place of peace. So you can actually respond differently in situations where the world says you shouldn't respond in peace and creativity. My peace I give unto you, not as the world gives, give I unto you. I've experienced this peace where there were times where because I, I was a carnal human before I was a spiritual one. So I still have my soul that it remembers things from my past. And I've had certain incidences happen in my present circumstances where I was like, I feel peace and I don't know why right now. Why am I at peace right now? Well, because the Spirit of God is helping me. It's not from me. It's the Spirit of God working with me. Now, in case you were wondering if these uh, were perfectly normal lions, maybe they were tamed lions, there's a verse 24 here. And the king commanded, and, and they brought those men which had accused Daniel, and they cast them into the den of lions, them, their children, and their wives. And the lions had mastery of them, and break all their bones in pieces, or ever they came at the bottom of the den. So almost as soon as they were in there, they were gone. So, no, they were hungry. They were normal lions. The Spirit of God worked with Daniel to close their mouths.